Hello and welcome. Today we will see how you can connect your Bravo system to our cloud server. That will allow you to use our mobile application, Mobile TTE, for remote control and receiving notifications. The first thing that we need to do is to visit our cloud server, teletech-ajax.com. As a new user, you will have to create an account. You can do that by pressing I'm a new user and filling the registration form. After you fill all the data needed for the registration, press register. Our cloud server will send you an email for confirmation. So now you need to go to your email account. As you can see in the email that we received from the cloud server, to complete the registration, we need to press on the following link. You can now use your credentials to log in. As you can see, our system list is now empty. If we want to add our Bravo system, we can do it by pressing New Module. First, we need to enter a system name, for example, My Bravo. Then we need to select the type of panel, in our case, Bravo. Then we need to select the slot where our communication module is installed. As you remember, in Bravo Panel, we have two slots for communication modules. We also need to select the type of communication module that we are using. As you know, we have two options, GPRS or LAN. In our case, we are using GPRS module. We now need to select our country and mobile operator. If you cannot find your country or mobile operator, please contact us. As the last step of the procedure, we have the option to apply our configuration file from our Bravo system. By doing this, the server will be able to apply all the necessary settings for the connection. In order to do this, we need to use our Proste software again. First, we need to read our system configuration, as you remember from the last video. Then, we have the option to save the configuration on our PC. We can now go back to the registration form and apply the configuration file that we already saved. After we are done, we can press register. The server will send us a new file which contains all the necessary settings for the connection with the server. We can download it by pressing Get TDF. The only thing left to do is to open the file and write the new configuration to your Bravo system. Then we need to press OK. This time the process software asks us for PC ID, which we already mentioned, and valid user code. By default, the user code is 0000. At the very beginning, the system will be offline. Shortly after that, the system should go online. It usually takes up to a minute for the Bravo system to establish connection. Next time we will see how to add and control Bravo system with our mobile application, Mobile TTE. You can download it for free for both Android and iOS. Thank you for watching us again. Working with Bravo is fun.